In this video we will talk about, breast cancer and its causes. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. Breast cancer is a malignant tumor developed from cells of the breast, and it is one of the most common cancers affecting females, at time has not been established what is the exact cause of this one, but last research is clearly pointing that there are several risks factors. These are the most probably breast cancer risk factors. Last researches have established that in the age group above 50 years there is a high incidence. On the other hand, in the age group below 25 years the incidence is very low. It is very important to say that this disease is very aggressive in patient 25 to 50 years old. Menstrual cycle is other factor that should be considered. Common in the ladies who have a longer menstrual life, i.e. the onset of menarche is earlier and cessation of menstruation is late. The women that smoke and drink alcohol increase the risk of developing breast cancer. Breast cancer is developed more frequently in spinsters and married women that have not given birth to children, or if given birth, then have not breastfed their offspring. The women that have had a breast cancer on one side have greater risk to develop cancer on the opposite side, and if there are antecedents of breast cancer in their families, mother, sisters and daughters, there are greatest risks too. Breast cancer is linked with obesity and higher intake of saturated fatty acids. Breast cancer is linked too, with the continuous or sequential uses of combined estrogen plus progestin hormone therapy, CHT. Women that have been using oral anti-contraceptives for more than 10 years are more vulnerable to the development of this disease. On the other hand, women doing 4-5 to five hours of exercises per week reduce their risk of developing breast cancer. In short, these facts derive from the statistical analysis. They should not be taken as causative or predisposing factors. I hope you found some useful information and tips. I look forward to hearing from you. Warning. None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.